Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be starting a new series here on my channel. So basically this series is going to be me recreating famous YouTubers, celebrities, makeup artists, looks. For the most part, I'm gonna be following along tutorials or trying to follow along tutorials of people who do really are known for their very creative, bold, um, or very specific looks. And I'm going to try to follow along their tutorials or I will use a photo as inspiration and try to recreate the look. So if you have any YouTubers, celebrities, makeup artists, or specific looks that you want me to recreate, then go ahead and comment down below. You can link them or you can message me over on social media. I have my TikTok, Instagram, all of that jazz linked down below. I'm open to suggestions for sure. I actually did do a poll over on my Instagram as I wanted to get an idea of who you would like to see first. I thought I would start with following a tutorial and I thought I would start with either James Charles or Nikki tutorials as they're kind of like the tutorial queens of YouTube, you know, like especially when they first started their channels. The winner was Nikki tutorials. So I was scrolling through all of her videos. I was trying to find the most recent tutorial, but she she actually doesn't do tutorials that often anymore. So the best and most recent one I could find was her full face of flawless in-depth makeup tutorial. That was two years ago. So I apologize it's not newer, but this is the one we're gonna start with today. I just also really am obsessed with her final look. So it's kind of that, it's like kind of when the fox eye was just starting, you know, that it's not completely the fox eye, but it's like, the whole like snatched lifted look was just kind of beginning now it's like everywhere basically i'm going to follow this along and see if it turns out i mean i don't expect it to be exactly the same because we have different faces and i don't have all of the same products so yada 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 shut up caitlin and get down to it the first step is she primes this is the wet and wild impossible primer as it it's a nice smoothing primer like she uses a blurring primer but it's also has a little bit of like hydration like she kind of just taps it and i know i have my little stubby nails again i'm embarrassed my the girl who does my nails got covid and i just decided well i mean i can't Go see her but I really love the way she does my nails so I'm gonna just wait until she's back up and running and I kind of wanted the break and then I started chewing my nails again because I'm an avid nail chewer so and if you've watched Nikki tutorials before then you will know she absolutely loves the revolution makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation and I actually just rediscovered this in my collection I recently did a declutter and um, tried this again and actually kind of fell in love with it a little bit again. She uses a beauty blender to apply to the entire face. The, the one thing she does do is add luminizing drops to the foundation as it is a very pretty matte foundation. And she uses the Marc Jacobs ones. I don't have those, but I'm actually gonna use the Jaclyn Hill um, liquid highlighter in lightning, but I'm only gonna add like Want a two drops because it's pretty it's pretty light i don't normally do this because i am more oily but i love the idea of having that nice glow okay let's start working that into the skin and she is like a full coverage queen so we're gonna go in with it and make sure that if you want full coverage from your product to tap that sponge onto the skin. So no smearing. And she goes in with concealer. She uses the e.l.f. Flawless Finish. I don't have that one, but I do really like the e.l.f. Um, Hydrating Camel Concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. She uses a lot of concealer right up close to her lash line. And then she comes down. Now this is also two years ago, so trends have changed, but we're going with the tutorials. So we're gonna just do it. I'm not going anywhere today. So if she looks cakey, she looks cakey. She does a little bit on the edge of her nose, a little bit here. I'm gonna go in over that blemish there. And then she does a little bit here, and then a little bit here, and then here. I usually conceal my chin anyway, so that's perfect. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender for this one because it is smaller. She blends in this area first. Like it looks like she blends everything in except for her eyes. 
She does that last. Then she says you start at the bottom and you just start blending into where it goes on your cheeks. Really blend that in. And then you just lightly tap where the waterline is, like up near the waterline, so that you get the most coverage there. Now her concealer might have been a little higher coverage than this one because um, it doesn't look as flawless, but I do see the idea behind that. It's like the most coverage in here. I'm actually getting it a little more. I'm like, wow, she uses so much concealer. Then I add more and I see, I see what that does. Then she sets down her under eyes with her beauty blender. She uses the Fenty Beauty powder, but I'm going to use my Laura Mercier. Oh, actually, I've never tried the Fenty Beauty. And then she goes in with a like velour puff. Obviously not this one. I have the Blendiful by Tati Beauty that you can't get, but this is the only uh, fluff that I have. So I'm gonna go in with that and set down the rest of the face. Then she goes ahead and does her brows. And she does do the one eye, but she does her brows off camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well to save some time. Okay, so now that my brows are done, we are going to prime the eyes with the P. Louise base as she does. And she does actually use her sponge. It looks like she has like a tiny little one, but I don't. So we're gonna just use my regular size beauty blender. Okay, so the eyes are primed and now we're going to start the eye look. So she has a specific ColourPop palette. I'm actually gonna be using my Free To Be Pressed Powder Quad because it basically has um, very similar colors as to what she uses. So she uses like a warm medium brown and then a darker brown and then a cream. So let's start with the warm medium brown. And she goes in with the Morphe M433. So she says she takes the shade she looks straight. She goes just above where her natural crease is and she's just patting it on. So she kind of gets that crease, um, you know, where she wants the crease to lay and then starts to bring it onto the lid, kind of slanted inward. So as she goes farther down, she's going closer to the lash line, kind of like that. So she really has quite a bit of pigmentation there on the outer lid. And I think the best angle for like a winged out sculpted shape like this is by just following the waterline. So like right there. So like that. Just softly, I pick up more of that color and I start bringing it in towards the center of my eye. Just using soft circular motions. I'm barely touching the skin and see we're going in baby. I'm bringing it in but almost slanting up towards like this portion of the brow. We're, we're basically hitting that. So we're going up, up, up honey. Then we're gonna do something scary. We're gonna go up onto that brow to like the, the first third of the brow and then down towards this portion of sort of like the, the side of the nose bridge. Basically the shape is like going out like a cat shape into the crease, up to that brow, down towards this portion here. It actually turned out better than I thought it was going to. This is going not bad. And then she takes, and this is kind of similar. This is my Luxie blending brush. It's the 237 and I find it's the most similar one I have in my collection. And it looks like she has maybe just a tiny bit of that on the brush, but very minimal. And she says she's like, Placing it goes on the structure that she's built and then and she's like kind of almost using it flat And scratching above and like she's barely touching the skin She says that will help fade it out and I just noticed she does pull it out a little bit more than I did So I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm going to run it like along this edge and see how it's like creating that smoked out effect a little bit more. So I think we gotta focus on getting that shape. See how it looked like that before and now it looks like that. Now she takes a darker brown, which is where we're going to be using the shade No Cares. She basically just follows the same shape uh, where it's going from the lash line and on the outer lid and she's just tapping. And then I'm just gonna flick it outwards like that, maybe inwards a little bit like, but so light. And then I'm just gonna 
she didn't do this, but I feel like I need to. I'm just gonna take this brush and do that like soft blending. Ooh, it's turning out. And then she takes a flat brush and takes that cream shade, cream like white shade and uses that to set down the primer on her lids all in here where you still see that base and then but then she also brings it up a little bit and almost like similar reminds me of cut crease vibes but just makes that a little crisper brings some brightness upwards more okay and then she takes the dark brown kind of connects it to where she was originally placing those dark shades that goes inwards almost like you are doing like a really soft liner. So for the lower lash line, she takes like a pencil brush and goes into that medium brown and starts to pat it along. She brings it so much lower than I do, but I'm gonna trust the process. I want it to be exactly like her look. So a little bit lower. So it's like that nice smoked out. Man, I don't like that much concealer. I feel like I look cakey. And then she takes the darker brown on the outer, like maybe half, and then connects it to the top. So that's pretty much all she does for eyeshadow. The last step before we do mascara and lashes is taking a cream, eye pencil on the lower lash line to brighten that up. I'm gonna take my uh, Makeup by Mario. Okay, that is it sculpting wise and shadow wise. Now pop on your favorite pair of lashes and bottom mascara and I'll be right back. These are the same lashes, but the one, I don't know, I trimmed them the same and the one is so cute and the one I'm not loving, but that's okay. Now we're going to bronze. So she takes the Marc Jacobs Omega, I have a mini. Right up high, she starts to bronze. Start swirling in that warmth. You don't want to take it too far in, about like halfway of the cheeks but keep it high up, baby. And then super contoured forehead. So she contours her nose way differently than I do, and I actually have seen this before and I've been wanting to try it. So you basically just put bronzer all over the center of the nose, just like that. Then you take your sponge with some powder and you pull it down the side. And then you apply a little bit to the center. And then she takes like a large face brush and just kind of blends. Yeah, I think it worked. My nose looks very contoured. I feel like I need a little bit more in the center. And then she takes like a fluffy brush into her bronzer and connects that line to kind of where the line ended off with the eyeshadow. She takes blush. I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics Batty on the Block. I feel like it matches the one that she uses the most. And again, very high up. What is on my face here? I have like something on my face. Like what the heck is that? Jesus is a lot smaller of a brush and I feel like when you are gonna create this snatched look, you do kind of want a smaller brush. If you're bringing it like into the apple, then I feel like you can use a bigger brush, but I do definitely see where the benefit of a smaller brush would come with that. And I'm actually gonna take this brush and blend those edges. Now she takes, almost it looks like a contour brush. It's maybe a little smaller than this. And she goes into her Wet n Wild uh, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I have a different shade than her, but mine is in Precious Petals. But she takes this and it's like dense brush and she just goes back and forth, like windshield washer motion. She also takes some of it in the center of the forehead as you want that like glowy look. 
and she does do her chin. I don't normally do my chin. I can't do it. I don't like it because I have like a prominent butt chin, you know, and then she does looks like she does some here and then she takes like a very precise brush she does like the tip of her nose and then the last thing is lips so she takes a nude lip pencil i'm taking it in the shade butter pecan by jacqueline cosmetics i am going to sharpen it so she's nice and precise overdrawn on nude lip with the gloss pull my lip in like this like huh and then I just kind of create the McDonald's sign on my cube as well <laughs> and then you take a light light nude and I'm gonna be taking my Milani Matte Lipstick in the shade Matte Innocence. This is like the OG. My lips are dry too, so hopefully the gloss will help. And connect it to that lip pencil. You take a gloss. She took uh, the Marc Jacobs gloss in like a pink. I'm gonna just take my Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Ice. And then just setting spray and we're done. Hey guys, how do you think I did? Honestly, leave some honest comments. I feel like I'm really happy with how it turned out. I feel like it's pretty dang close considering we don't have the same products and faces. Um, but I'm actually proud of myself and I mean this isn't the hardest of Nikki tutorials tutorials So I think as I get going, I'll get a little bit more creative and in in, in depth and difficult uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this fun to watch. I love it um, And I encourage you guys to suggest who you want next um, in this series. I'm very excited about it. And yeah, thanks so much for watching guys again I hope you enjoyed if you did give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.